with a word with Splice's man in the mid. Thank you, guys. And I'm still good with the Twitch chat memes, but I'm here with Sen Cooks, the mid laner from Splice. And first off, that game went on for like 25 minutes. Not too much happened, but then it just opened up and came out of control. How did you find the opening in that game, Sen Cooks? So uh, mainly in the Ari LeBlanc matchup, you want to get to level 16 as fast as possible um, for both parts, of course. And uh, I just tried to split push the most of the game to get the most farm and the most XP I possibly could. So as soon as I hit level 16, I just said, team, let's fucking groove and let's go. And then you just snowballed out of control. Well, I also want to talk about like your opening to the LCS because you have three losses in a row and now pick up a win. What was the difference between one uh, now and yesterday and also this week versus last week for you guys as a team? So last week was uh, a bit of a test week for us, to be honest. Um, we weren't too sure about the picks and we came into the week not too prepared, I would say. But uh, this week we, we came in a bit more prepared, even though we had a bit of a struggle against Vitality yesterday. I still feel like we played better than we did last week. And uh, yeah, that's me anyway. Well, talking about preparation, I heard Yamato has banned soda in the house and sugar. So how has that been for you guys adapting to this uh, predicament? It's horrible, Yamato. Horrible. You heard that, Yamato. Anyway, we're going to throw it over to the Alistair to take a look at that game. <laughs> Thank you, Pulse. Didn't you guys uh, have that banned too? Yes, I guess Daylor was the one who invented it, and now people are just copying. No more sugar. Okay, okay. <laughs> Daylor making the coach meta. Yeah, yeah. Right. banned sugar. <laughs> He's writing that. <laughs> let's look at the meta in this game. Let's look at picks and bans. Uh, Senkux mentioned there that they felt like they were better prepared. Let's take a look at picks and bans from both teams and things you guys wanted to highlight. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously quite a lot of things between the two comms. Very, very different how they want to play out, especially in the early game. On the side of Splice, you kind of want to wait. You don't want to have too much action. Blue build Israel doesn't do a whole lot. LeBlanc is also really good early on against Ari. So he talked about it, get level 6, wait it out. Yeah. It was more on Rocket, honestly, to make plays with this composition. Yeah, and I feel like Ezreal is so strong into triple AD uh, and there, that there's no way for Rocket to actually win these post-30 post minute team fights. So they had to get more early game than what they did. I feel like they wanted to get the 2v2, two, two two, so they preemptively walked mm -hmm. top lane uh, to predict the lane swap and then stayed top once they took the tower just to get the 2v2, but they didn't get enough. They didn't get enough for Splice to fall too far behind and then they just won the team fight so out of that. Yeah, exactly. And we can even show the clip of this because this is the problem for Rocket in so many games. The tempo they play in is very, very slow. So here in this case, when you have Alistar and Kalista, get level six and you dive at a tier one tower. You can't do that top because the tower's already gone. They stay top lane. And this, honestly, again, from your point of view, this just slows down the game too much. Yeah, I mean, Kalista Alistar's biggest strength is level six. Before level six, they are very, I guess, they are not easy to gank, but they have the ability of being ganked. But once they're six, they can do whatever pretty much they want. So what they should do here, since they're about to hit level six and they already hit level six, and they have the Rift Herald buff, they should swap up the lanes and focus on that tier one bot. If the Spice, spice contest, they just dive them. And if they don't, they get a free tower, they get a free dragon, and they keep up the tempo of the game. Because after all, once the game gets to 30 minutes, they don't have a chance anymore. Yeah, and Rocket eventually did go back to bottom, but as you said, by that time it was too late. And when they tried to engage, the timer had run out. Let's take a look at a team fight that came up later in the game, where Rocket is trying to uh, make it happen across Dragon, but it's too little too late. Yeah, I would say this dragon, at this point, Rocket has two dragons, but they should have three already because they should have been more up with the tempo. But even even here, I don't think they should be taking this team fight because after all, uh, Freddy was building Frozen Mallet, mm -hmm. uh, Aerox was building Magic Resist to lane the Ori on a side lane. So they are not really playing to their winning conditions in one way and they're actually just taking a team fight that Splice wants right now. Yeah, and Kirby also had time to get fully stacked here. He has Icebound Gauntlet completed, Eddie goes in early, but he's poked down, he pops ulti, then he gets pulled in by Sapphire, so yep. it's kind of waste, and it's an awesome ulti from Freddy. But the thing is... There's no, just no damage. There's no damage yeah, left. there's no damage. And you, I mean, gave, the, you gave them time. Yeah, I mean, at this point, Wonderware is, what, three items, he's pretty much unkillable, uh, and Kobe has his power spike, since Blue Estrel's power spike comes uh, not until two, you have two items, so it just felt like that was Spice's fight to win, and Rocket's fight to lose. And their first victory on the board. You were saying when the come from Spice came out that they didn't have a lot of ability to engage themselves and tempo control, but they managed to overcome that. What would you rank as the first two things in this meta that you definitely want to have in a team comp if it goes between wave clear, engage, disengage? I would say engage is 
uh, the name of the game right now. It just feels like if you are able to choose what fights you're taking, you can kind of decide where the game goes. So I just feel like Rocket had the ability to choose what fights they were taking, but they were just taking the wrong ones. Because at this point, it's already too late. They should just be focusing on keeping uh, Freddy on a side lane with his Frozen Mallet. He can control the Tom pretty well, and then Arox on another side lane with his Magic Assist and Ori, and then just Betsy can look for picks on LeBlanc in the mid lane, and perhaps that can win that way and play the 3v3 game in the mid lane. But it just felt like they were playing Splice's game too much and Rocket's yeah. game too little. I always look at can a team set up two winning lanes? In this setup, when you put LeBlanc on side lane against Ari, they go even. And then you put Rek'Sai mid doing absolutely nothing, yeah. and you had Tom Kench now bot lane going even. So Rocket did manage to put up winning lanes. Had they put LeBlanc mid and Rek'Sai top, they could have dove the mid lane. Super easy, they could have won there. That is super important in this meta, because again, that's what allows you to make the proactive plays. Yeah, and also this, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, the Spell Thieves, uh, the Ghost Thieves. Queens yeah, yeah. <laughs> the small Ghost Thieves, they are very effective in the mid lane, but not so effective on the side lanes. So when you put LeBlanc on the side lane, that, that item just becomes non non-existent, right? Meanwhile, if you were to have that in mid lane and you catch someone with ghosties, you can easily turn that into a couple of towers, even a baron. The ghosties, I think yeah. that's my <laughs> favorite pet name Spooky for ghosts. the Frost Queen's <laughs> flame. In any case, Splice walks away with their first win, and there's only one match left to play out this week between newcomers G2 Esports and H2K. Fantastic matchup in the EULCS. We'll be right back. Visualize your enemy. Visualize the game. Even close your eyes. Makes can it easier. Can Relax. I cover spawn? <laughs> Senku. Hey, Senku. Senku. I'm being serious. Okay. Set cuts back after we go from the top. Betsy jumps in. Oh, oh, Zero's out. Oh, he's Beth. Hello. And he's able to just stay alive. How much health does he have? He gets hit by the ghost afterwards. He gets stunned by the binding. So they've got a lot more. Whoa. And they take him down. Trashy blows him away. Dragon. And there's a big gnar against the wall. Betsy senses his opportunity. But Freddy's going to fall as well. Kavi gets the credit for that. He gets immediately chunked out. But a big gnar from Freddy. And Betsy around the side can't finish the Job. Edward's gonna get taken out. Splice will come up with a victory right here over Rocket.